Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Whoa, they're dropping curse words and stuff now. Yeah, go on! That big pop of yours that you really think! I'm sure you'll be head over heels for you after this! Fuck, this is getting wild! This is way worse than the first time. <laughs> Suddenly, Yuri's turned towards me as if she noticed I was standing here. Big hey, Papa. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. Fuck, Sayori's not here to save me. Fuck, Sayori's not here. This game sucks. Oh, gosh. That's not true! She's scared it! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What did it? What did? What? What did it? What did it say? Uh, what, what am I choosing? I don't remember what the first sign was. I'm side with Yuri, or is it? Fuck Yuri. What the fuck? Monica, can I help you? I didn't choose Natsuki. Hi. What are you doing? You really wanted me to choose Natsuki. Hello. Can I help you? Thank you for stepping in. Hey, Big Papa. Why don't we step outside for a bit? Oh, she's in front of the... the speaking thing, but her words are... cropping around her. Okay. Hi. Sorry about that. Thanks for stepping in. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. <laughs> Why are you laughing about a time like this? Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own members properly. I just wish I was able to see a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with us, with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. Monica's coming on to us. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Oh, now I feel bad. Now she actually has sad face. Ugh! Go away with the sad face. It makes me feel bad. Oh! And Alt F4. Fuck! Now I feel bad! Ah! God damn it. Now she's like, looked at me and then ran away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're all done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri? I didn't mean it. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Big Papa, please don't hate me. Please, I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. Yeah, I could tell from earlier. And also, you're... Wide-eyed side stares freaking me out. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow. What would have happened if I would have chose Natsuki? Would it have finished? Because I wrote the poem for Yuri, or would it have done another zoom-in thing? Dang it, this game is crazy. There's a lot of depth. Whew. And the music stopped again, by the way. Last time that happened, bad things happened. I don't like it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all, will forget all about it by tomorrow. How? Completely. Who? Okay. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. You, you, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to say it a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. 
Monica's pretty possessive, I'll say that. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take the responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. Hmm, picking up on that? You sniffing what she's stepping in? Because, uh, I think she, uh, wants you to leave. It's, it's not that. It's not, it's not that. I just, I, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Big Papa. I would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I, I'm sorry for causing trouble. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? What did she say? And it went to poem. I didn't even get to say. We didn't even. Ah, uh, what? Ah, uh, this game is nightmare. Okay, there's nothing new over there. Okay. Um. Depression. Horror. Intellectual. I just keep writing the same poem, poem over and over again. Daydream. Dark. Graveyard? Nice. <laughs> Melancholy. Games! I had to do that. Fester. After image. I gotta do it. Climax. All right. Kinky. I'm, I'm doing now. Down with it. Uh, pain. Inferno. Massacre. Crimson. Vivacious. Agonizing. Tragedy. Meager. Frightening. <laughs> okay, ah! Excuse you? What was that? Oh my god, there's another thing and I'm scared. That was Sayori. There's another file in here. It's just a bunch of eyes, and it's a text document. It says, I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but that would mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? What? Who's modifying my game? Outside the game. I don't like it. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I'm cold. I've gotten a little more comfortable over here the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene gr greets me. That's not normal. Um, are you guys seeing that? She has supposed to have been loaded in. That's the thing about this game. Is you never really know what's broken and what's not. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be like this, but I can't ever tell. Ah, hi Yuri. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. What expression? But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Hi. I'm glad you're full now. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. She wants to make out in the closet. Bow, bow. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. 
nothing that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. Also, I haven't seen anything change in the background yet. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Oh, she's nice. Taking responsibility. Yuri, I'm happy that you're, you were considerate and apologized. <laughs> Excuse me. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I had already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, Big Papa, don't say those kind things. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They made me a little too happy. That's a bad thing? I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. Oh, yeah, that was her. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little bit brighter with you around, and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey! Have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no, I, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Uh, Yuri! I'm guessing you haven't either! Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. No, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all! I know this is stupid, but I can't help worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of those things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri! What the heck are you talking about? Oh... She actually legit doesn't remember. Okay... Uh... That's creepy. Okay, so this might have just confirmed something in my brain for me. Although it doesn't really make sense. Um, Monica said that she was going to forget about it. And she didn't just say she was going to forget about it. She did a whole new text box and said completely. Okay. And... Things are editing in my system. And... Somehow Monica gets in front of weird stuff like text boxes. And she's made jokes and references to being... Like the game- being aware. Self-aware of like the game. She said, make sure you save your stuff. Is Monica sentient? That doesn't make sense, though. Because it's all, it's like, oh, it's Sayori. It's all Sayori stuff. I don't know. Or maybe, maybe Monica is a clone of Sayori? Or, or she did get possessed, like I thought earlier. I don't know. Okay. Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? <laughs> Jeez! Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't even remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries a little too much about the little things, aren't you? What the fuck? Okay, maybe Natsuki's the evil one. She speaks in demon speak. But... I'll accept your apology anyways if it helps you make you feel better about it. Oh, that's nice of you. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something. Oh, look, they come together. Hehe. <laughs> not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha! <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Nice. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. 
Oh my god. <coughs> that hurt my throat. Hey! Suddenly, door swings open. Hi! Sorry, I'm so sorry! Oh, th there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Oh, just a little bit. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I, I was not! Uh, what took you so long anyway? <laughs> Excuse me, burp. Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I was in where you played music as well, Monica. Ah, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not very good yet. Still, I must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Uh -huh. That's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Big Papa. Monica smile, smiles sweetly. I like her eyes. I will say that. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. I was hoping that I could share with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica is referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck! Thanks! This is the first time we've been in this little area in front of the closet. So I didn't miss anything, did I? N not, not really. I choose not to bring up anything the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already t run off into the closet. <laughs> Big Papa, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you'd like to spend time together today. In the closet. <laughs> I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Oh, I love her. Let's find a place to sit. Uh, uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Y yeah. But I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I re make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time bet here better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. We have not met anyone else, by the way. To my, su or to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Legs for days! Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Th that's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah! Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling- or she's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Monica's always up in my biz. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. She wanted me to follow her? Whoa. There's a weird music filter. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. So we're heading down the hallway. Ha! 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 Someone's out of breath. What's that noise? 
It's coming from around the corner. We're about to meet someone else. It sounds like breathing. 